One of the busiest men in New York City this week is Police Commissioner Ray Kelly, and he's with us live in the studio. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. Uh, has the snow this week in the city complicated your efforts to secure Times Square for tonight? No, the sanitation department has done a good job. Times Square is virtually uh, free of snow. Mm. Obviously, there are still challenges in other parts of the city, but uh, for uh, tonight's celebration, we're in good shape. Now, what is your biggest concern going into tonight? We have many concerns. When you get this number of people uh, together, obviously uh, we're concerned about a, a possible terrorist uh, event. Not only do we have a major event in Times Square, we have others throughout the city. We have fire, fireworks in uh, Brooklyn, we have it in Central Park, we have a four-mile run in Central Park, mm -hmm. we have a major concert at St. John of Divine, we have fireworks at the uh, Statue of Liberty. So there will be clusters of people, significant numbers of people throughout the city that mm -hmm. have to be uh, pleased. And as we learned this past year, this is one of the, uh, New York is always going to be a, t a, t a target for terrorists. Yeah. But so specifically, in this case, Times Square was a place where people, someone said, this is going to be a great place to set off a bomb. Precisely. Faisal Shahzad drove right into Times Square on, on May 1st with intentions of killing uh, a lot of people. Uh, fortunately uh, for us, the bomb didn't go off. But uh, quite frankly, he wasn't on anybody's radar screen. So this mm. is the type of thing that, that concerns us. So right. I think we're doing everything we reasonably can do to protect the city, but there's a lot of unknowns out there. Sure. Uh, for people who are going in, and they're talking about another million people descending on Times Square, what should they not do if they're heading there? Don't bring backpacks. Don't bring alcohol. Uh, there will be 18 entry points into the core area mm -hmm. of Times Square. Each of them will have magnetometers. In fact, if you go into those, those points, you'll be magged probably three times by the time you get to your, the pen area. Right. There are 65 pens that start uh, in low, low 40s and go all the way up to, uh, to Central Park. Yeah. Uh, there are... Each of the blocks will have uh, what we call blocker cards. Each mm -hmm. of the streets will have big cement blocks that, uh, that block them off as well. We have yeah. lots of detection equipment. I guess that's warning. If you have any designs on being goofy, uh, you better check them at the door because you're not going to have the opportunity <laughs> this to is do true. it. All right. Uh, I just have one serious question from this past week. Uh, we know there were a lot of streets that were not cleaned up for any number of different reasons. How did that impact the police department's ability to do its job, especially at the height of the storm? Well, I'll tell you the good news. Uh, crime was down in the previous four days about 60 percent. Because people just didn't go outside. That's right. People <laughs> go outside. So, uh, you know, it's a silver lining here. But uh, obviously it impacted the police department's ability to, to get around. So we had to hold certain uh, police officers over for extra tours, longer tours of duty. Mm -hmm. We held all our tow truck operators. They're working 12-hour tours. Our emergency service police officers, who are all EMTs, they were kept on 12-hour tours so they could assist the fire right. department, EMS, in, in responding to yeah. aided cases. So, so it had a ripple effect uh, for us. Yeah, no question. Commissioner Kelly, good luck tonight. And Thank you, sir. Year. Appreciate it.